The Class 91 locomotive is a high-speed AC electric locomotive purpose-built for use on the East Coast Main Line. A total of 31 examples were outshopped from crew works by British Rail Engineering Limited over a three-year period between 1988 and 1991. These locomotives were the last to be built at crew works before it closed. The locomotives looked peculiar in design with a blunt end cab at the rear as they were intended to work as dual-purpose locomotives for passenger and freight however this did not materialize. The class however proved very capable on passenger work, despite never showing their full potential of 140 mph running and tilting due to a lack of infrastructure upgrades. Over the years the class survived through British Rail and on to privatization. Under GNER, the class was completely overhauled and renumbered from the 91-0 class to 91-1. Since GNER the class has been modified extensively throughout the years. Most notably in November of 2012 when 91114 was unveiled with a duplex pantograph system. This trial was in the end unsuccessful and the mod had since been removed but the roof of this locomotive is still distinctively different to the rest of the class. The locomotives remained the pride of and main workhorses on the East Coast main line for nearly three decades, seeing the likes of National Express East Coast, East Coast, and Virgin Trains East Coast come and go before London Northeastern Railway took over in 2018. By this point the days of the class were numbered. The project Azuma, which was formally announced by Virgin was well underway with the units being built by Hitachi already on mainline test runs. The first class 91 withdrawal took place in July of 2019 when 91108 went off lease. This locomotive was quickly followed by 103 in August and 117 plus 120 in September of the same year. Further withdrawals continued into 2020 and were sped up due to the coronavirus pandemic. Planned use of the Class 91. Fleet on services north of York to Edinburgh ended on 4 September 2020 when 91109 hauled the final booked Intercity 225 service for the Scottish capital. This should have marked the end of three decades of sterling service. However due to shortage of Azuma trains and planned runs continued sporadically for the remainder of that month. The final service taking place on the 24th of September again hauled by 91109. At the end of September the Thunderbad locomotives for the northern section were removed and the 91s formally withdrawn. No further runs occurred and the curtain fell. The remainder of the class remained in active service, albeit only between King's Cross and Leeds York until timetable change in January 2021. At this point the class was completely withdrawn from East Coast Main Line trains, although this measure was only temporary. The class, having been allocated to and maintained by Bounds Green, since introduction were reallocated and moved to Neville Hill Depot in Leeds. This coincided with the withdrawal of East Midlands Railway and their HST fleet from the depot in May of that year and the rebranding of Bounds Green to a Hitachi. Depot to allow maintenance of the Class 80X Azuma fleet. The class were due to be reinstated to traffic between Kings Cross and Yorkshire in June of 2021. However due to a large scale flaw with the Hitachi 80X fleet across the entire network their reintroduction was rushed forward to the timetable change on the 11th of May 2021. Initially only a couple of 225 sets per day operated. Between Leeds and London. However over the course of the year more were operated with the peak standing at 5 sets per day operating between Kings Cross and Skipton, York, Leeds and Bradford. Upon return the locomotive still wore their virgin livery, which at the time was up to 8 years old and very tatty. During 2022 and 2023 the entire class still in active traffic with LNER was repainted. At the Wabtec facility in Doncaster, where the locomotives had been a regular site for heavy overhauls for numerous years. The first to be out shopped in the striking Arxblid livery, which cleverly combined the Heritage Intercity livery and the modern Azuma livery with 91127 with the official unveiling taking place in June 2022. The final locomotive was 91107 in February 2023. All the 
locomotives with names retained their plates 91110. 91111 and 91119 were re-embellished with their celebrity liveries upon repaint, however 101 and 114 were not, and received the standard color scheme. Currently there is a 12-strong fleet of locomotives in active service on the East Coast Main Line, those being, 101, named Flying Scotsman, 105, 106, 107, named Skyfall, 109. Named Sir Bobby Robson, 110, named and painted in tribute to the Battle of Britain, 111, named for the Fallen, and painted in a Remembrance Day livery, 114, named Durham Cathedral, 119, named after Bounds Green Depot and painted in a retro intercity swallow livery, 124, 127, and 91130, named Lord Mayor of Newcastle. Currently minor overhauls and routine maintenance are all taking place at Neville Hill Depot where the fleet is based. The fleet is expected to continue operations into the latter half of the decade before the final withdrawal takes place. The future for the class however is still uncertain at all the locomotives that you are substantial overhaul very soon and with their replacement not too distant questions are being asked about the feasibility of this work. Their replacement has not yet been confirmed however it is not to be Hitachi, and is strongly rumored to be built by CAF. Following a design similar to the class 397 or Mark 5 sets currently operating with Transpennine Express. For now the class is safe and is confirmed to be running until at least 2024 so they will not be disappearing from their stomping ground anytime soon. But what about the rest of the class and the future after their eventual withdrawals? Upon withdrawal, class 91108 was stored in Doncaster West Yard and stripped for all usable parts before its eventual scrapping by CF Booths of Rutherham in May of 2022. The first class 91 locomotive to be scrapped was 91132 by Sims Metals of Nottingham in March of 2021. This locomotive was notable as it was renumbered from 91023 to 91132 upon rebuilding due to its involvement in both major rail disasters involving the class. That being the Great Hack and the Hatfield crashes. This was followed by a further four class 91s in May of that year, 91102, 91113, 91126 and 91129 to Sims Metals of Newport 91103 and 91104 were stripped and stored alongside 108 in Doncaster West Yard. And also made the journey to booths for scrapping in March and August of 2022 respectively. Six further stored locomotives, those being 91112, 91115, 91116, 91118, 91121 and 91125, were removed from Belmont Yard at Doncaster, where they had been based since withdrawal in Warm Store, to Sims at Newport by Rail Operations Group Class 37s. This took place in two sets of three in early 2023. Class 91117 and 91120 had a very different future on the cards upon withdrawal. These locomotives were repainted and reworked and bound green upon withdrawal and emerged in September 2019 in European X livery. The pair were dragged to Leicester Depot and were expected to depart for Bulgaria to work freight services within the month. This did not happen and over the course of the next two years the locomotives were moved aimlessly around many different sidings within the country having never worked a single service. The pair then moved to Doncaster Wabtec for a prolonged period before returning to Leicester Depot. Moved again by DCR Class 60028 in 2022 to Barrow Hill Depot where they remained for several months 91117 has now been stripped for parts at Barrow. Hill to assist with the Class 89 project to allow this locomotive to return to the main line and will likely result in 117's scrapping. In September of that year 91120 moved to the Heritage Center at Crewe. Currently it is being stripped to bare metal and repainted where it will likely remain as a static display. Class 91122 and 91128 were acquired by Rail Operations Group and DATS. Upon withdrawal. These were utilized to test the Midland Main Line electrification scheme with a motley test train comprising of a pair of power cars, 
the 291's top and tailing and a rake of varied Mark III coaching stock and driving van trailers with a Class 90 sandwiched in the middle. The train also ran on the East Coast Main Line occasionally however the work concluded in 2022 and the pair was stored with an uncertain future at Crew South Yard. In October of that year they made their final journey and were scrapped at Sims Metals Newport after a potential high-speed parcel train plan fell through due to modified Class 319 units coming off lease with Northern being favoured. The final locomotive, and first to be preserved as 91131. This locomotive was stored alongside classmates at Belmont Yard and then Doncaster West Yard before finally making the journey to the Bonus and Keenal Railway in March 2023 where it is currently preserved as a static display and is now the only Class 91 to retain its ex-Virgin colours. This locomotive was the final one to be built at Crew Works and this significance is the reason for its preservation. As for the current LNER. Fleet Class 91110 and 111 have been earmarked for the National Collection due to their liveries 110 is also significant as this locomotive set the British speed record for electric locomotives on the 17th of the 19th of September 89, reaching a speed of 161.7 miles per hour, a record which still stands to this day. However the future for the remainder of the class is very uncertain. Due to them being electric it rules out preservation lines and therefore the likely future is static display, scrap or charter operations, unless another operator is interested in taking them on. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video informative and interesting. If you did a like would be greatly appreciated and please subscribe for more content on all things railway.